You know, it was great listening to John Blend talk about his experiences with giving back to not just the sport of wrestling, but also the community around him. And it really you know, hits hard when you when you see how much the, the, rest, the sport of wrestling has meant to him. You know, with Tino, it's, it's, it's a family affair, and it's, it's a fun thing to hear. Um, such a successful businessman. Um, relate everything back to wrestling. Six or seven each summer go to UTC to the uh, wrestling camp. It's just spectacular. It's a funny thing with kids in care, institutionalized kids. They're not, they don't do well in team sports as a child as well. So we got on to this thing. And we had a young man, 149, who won two state tournaments, 6A, long-term incarcerated parents. CEO of the company. He wasn't a wrestler, but he connected the dots, I think, with what he saw at Ocean before we were doing the wrestling, encouraged his son to go and send him on to the United States. In, enlighten you to that. And I also want to tell you that I'm, uh, I'm very pleased with what this organization stands for. Uh, in terms of the ind industry, so if you think about that, the industry has put a framework around it. The uh, Hartsfield Airport, which of course is a big economic engine for the state, is about 60. A lot of technology, a lot of entrepreneurship, more investment coming into the state. And uh, in fact, last night we had an event where we gave like $50,000 to the best new business launch. But I try every day to start the day and really get pumped up about what I'm going to do. And I think sometimes because if you you have a decent career, but you're not a national champions wrestler. You try to take that and see what you learn and apply it to the business life. And I think, uh, but Boston dropped their program, Temple University dropped their program. So one of the reasons I got really excited about when I got the call to get involved with this organization is I don't want to see this program lose for team. I want to see us, I want to see a D1 team in Georgia. I want to see us really come back. It's such an important sport. We all know what it means to, uh, to us and people we see that have really become better people because of the discipline it takes to be in this sport. And uh, so that's that's why I'm here, just committed to uh, try to give something back to the sport that's meant so much to me and to my, my family. I didn't realize any of his background or the nature of his background internationally and how close he was to the teams. Um, so that, that, you know, that struck me in the experiences that he's, he's been able to have doing that. The second thing is, uh, he was such a phenomenal speaker and so inspirational about his feeling about America and how wrestling contributes to American greatness and how unique America uh, is in the, in the world and on the world stage. So by background, I, I'm from Illinois. I grew up in the Chicago area. Um, I got involved in wrestling when I was 10 because my, a classmate of mine threatened me. Um, and the worst thing to do with a wrestler or a Russian or an Italian is threaten on her. And I, one day I was realizing, I, I was really struggling to make a weight. I was dying, right? I, I didn't realize I was growing. I was in the middle of growing. I had gotten a starting job at about 42 as a freshman. And Kevin and I wrestled every day. And um, you probably are shocked by this, but he was better. <laughs> <laughs> I love being a wrestling of all time, getting better. It was my claim to life. It saved my life. It gave me an opportunity to believe in myself and something to, to want to be where I, I could be thought of well, even if it was just in my own mind. Uh, and for me, uh, going to Wisconsin was life changing because what came out of that room at that time under Hellickson's leadership were 11 individual NCAA champions, nine world team members, and seven world medals in that room. And the best. The, the, the guy who was the best of all was Ken, but he was... And wrestling is loaded with remarkable human beings. In 2003, I had the privilege of serving as MC for an event at the New York Athletic Club with Stan, who was president of USA Wrestling at the time, where he won, since now United World Wrestling, honored six individuals for a lifetime, which is the most compelling person that night. And they were all compelling. I mean, they were top of their fields in life was Norman Borlaug. And Borlaug stood up and said, the reason why Pakistan and India and Mexico are an agriculture self-sufficient is because of my high school wrestling coach, Dave Barnell, who taught me never to quit. Because my point in telling this portion of the story 
is, is that in your life, you make decisions all the time. Every decision you make matters. Albert Einstein knew this to be true. Physicists know that it's true. But wrestling is a critical factor in developing leaders in society. And I've had the privilege of, of having a front row seat, not being one of the great ones, but just a front row seat and trying to emulate or trying to learn from or trying to develop <coughs> qualities uh, that would help me be a better person. Because we know this in wrestling, there's no cutting the corner. You just can't get through it. So, no matter what happens, I'm not getting out of work. It's not going to happen. I'm not going to get out of work. I don't care if it kills you. I'm not going to get out of work. I <coughs> fly across the country five times in a row with no sleep. I'm doing it. If I have to, I'm doing it. And I know that that's how you feel. And that's the difference in life that effort makes, is that people who are totally and completely committed to doing the right thing for the right reasons, and they're inspired by each other because they see greatness in character. They don't see greatness in the form of physical feats. That's part of it. But what really makes wrestling unique and special is that they have the character and the will to live a different kind of life based on their effort and the fact that they come through the corners. Fourth uh, then one that was led by Stan Desi, because I was on a phone call when we called Stan. Uh, and I want to tell you about Gus. Uh, first of all, Stan was not a good wrestler. Stan was a great wrestler. Okay, there's a difference. World champions are a different level of athlete. Right? You're not outed in those 48 hours. Stan did that by himself, <laughs> alone, with Gus, right? So, when I when I think about our sport, I think about the honor associated not with just it, but also our country. Um, in 2005, uh, I was asking team leader for the, the Greco uh, team and had an incredible experience. Fell in love with the kids, became totally committed, nuts, right? We're all little nuts, right? I, I got nuts and, you know, started trying to help in any way I could in between the gymnastics center and the first estimate on a mile walk. There were a million Chinese outside. By the way, the most popular American athlete in China is Kobe. At least he was in 2008. How our athletes responded to an immigrant who just got a citizenship carrying the flag and what it meant to all of them. It was a mind blow. And I make this point one last time. When America walks around that little track at the Olympic Games, what the camera doesn't show you is that the other countries break rank. And they run out to the end outer edge of the track to take pictures of American athletes because they want to see it. So this, we're, we live in the greatest idea in the history of, of the human race, right? And it was founded on the greatest set of principles in the history of the human race. I want to thank you all for being wrestlers. I want to thank you all for being part of this great sport because it is going to be your legacy that what our sport is about and what it means will help this great nation will grow and gain much of the stature uh, as we go forward in the world. Because it is people like you who have the guts and the courage to step forward and make this country great. And I thank you for this opportunity to spend